We're asked to plot the given angles given in radians in standard position and then convert the angles to exact degree measure. For number one, we have five pi divided by six radians or five six pi radians. If you're not comfortable working in radians, you could convert to degrees and then sketch the angle in standard position, but I think there is value in being able to sketch angles in standard position when given in radians, and therefore that's the approach we will take. The initial side will always be along the positive x-axis, and now we need to rotate counterclockwise 5 6 pi radians. I know 5 6 pi radians is already marked off here on the circle. Let's assume that it's not. We know half a rotation counterclockwise is equal to pi radians, and therefore if we divide this into six equal parts, each part will be 1 6 pi radians and then we can easily count off five, six pi radians. So dividing pi radians into six equal parts, we have one, six pi, two, six pi, three, six pi, four, six pi, five, six pi, and six, six pi are pi radians. And of course we can continue. We have seven, six pi, eight, six pi, nine, six pi, 10, six pi, 11, six pi, and 12, six pi are two pi radians. Now that we have the circle marked off in one six pi radians, we can easily determine the terminal side of five six pi radians. Starting along the positive x-axis and rotating counterclockwise, we have one six pi, two six pi, three six pi, four six pi, and five six pi radians. This is the terminal side of five six pi radians. We also need to include the arrow that shows the direction and amount of rotation here. The circle does show five pi divided by six radians is equal to 150 degrees, but let's show the work on that. To convert from radians to degrees, we multiply by 180 degrees divided by pi. This gives us five pi divided by six times 180 degrees divided by pi. Simplifying before multiplying, pi divided by pi simplifies to one, Six and 180 share a common factor of six. There's one six and six, and 36 is in 180. And we're left with five times 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees. And we can also check this on Desmos Scientific Calculator by simply entering the product. We have five pi divided by six, right arrow times 180 divided by pi, and we do get 150. Next, we have seven pi divided by four radians, or seven fourth pi radians. Here, because the denominator is four, we want to mark off one fourth pi radians. Well, again, the initial side is along the positive x-axis. And since half a rotation counterclockwise is pi radians, if we divide this into fourths, we have one fourth pi, two fourths pi, three fourths pi, four fourths pi, or pi, Continuing, we have five-fourths pi, six-fourths pi, seven-fourths pi, and eight-fourths pi, or two pi. And now starting along the positive x-axis and rotating counterclockwise, seven-fourth pi radians, we have one-fourth pi, two-fourths pi, three-fourths pi, four-fourths pi, five-fourths pi, six-fourths pi, and seven-fourths pi. This is 7 fourths pi radians in standard position. And again, we can see from the circle, it's equal to 315 degrees, but again, let's show that work. To convert to degrees, we multiply 7 pi divided by four by 180 degrees divided by pi. Simplifying before multiplying, pi divided by pi simplifies to one. Four and 180 share a common factor of four. There's one four and four. 45 fours in 180, leaving us with seven times 45 degrees, which is 315 degrees. Checking on the calculator. Verifies our work is correct. For the last example, we have six pi divided by five radians or six fifth pi radians. Here, because the denominator is five, we want to mark off one-fifth pi radians. The initial side is along the positive x-axis. And now to mark off one-fifth pi radians, since half a rotation counterclockwise is pi radians, 
It can be a little bit trickier. Let's say this is one-fifth pi radians, two-fifths pi, three-fifths pi, four-fifths pi, five-fifths pi are pi radians. Continuing, we have six-fifths pi, seven-fifths pi, eight-fifths pi, nine-fifths pi, and ten-fifths pi are two pi. Starting along the positive x-axis and rotating six-fifth pi radians counterclockwise, we have one-fifth pi, two-fifths pi, three-fifths pi, four-fifths pi, five-fifths pi, and six-fifths pi. The terminal side of six-fifths pi radians is approximately here. And now converting to degrees, we multiply by 180 degrees divided by pi. Simplifying before multiplying, pi divided by pi simplifies to one. Five and 180 share a common factor of five. There's one five and five, and 36 fives in 180, leaving us with six times 36 degrees, which is 216 degrees. And let's also check this. and we do get 216 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.